Hi friends and welcome to our tutorial. In this guide, we'll design and animate a ghost-like text effect in After Effects. First, we'll create our text layer and pre-compose it. Now we'll make a new noise solid layer. We'll use this layer to control the noise in our composition. Start with a fractal noise effect. Our noise effect should look like a swirl. So we'll use the swirly parameter and increase its scale. Here, we want to achieve some dynamics, so we'll write down an expression into the evolution parameter. For this, press Alt, click on the evolution and write down time 30. Copy this effect with property links. Duplicate the noise layer delete and paste our effect. So now this noise layer will be linked to our original noise layer. Pre-compose the duplicate of our noise. These layers are in charge of the text distortion, so we can close them. Apply image wipe effect on our text layer. Using contrast, we'll be partly erasing our text. Add a displacement map effect and link it to the noise distortion layer. The black noise areas will distort the bottom values. The white noise areas will distort the upper values. Since we don't need the black color to distort the bottom values, we'll add a tint effect. Now we need to animate the reduction of contrast. Time to add some blur, so we'll apply a vector blur effect on our text layer. We'll duplicate our noise distortion layer and call it a noise blur. Add an exposure effect.
add one more blur. We'll use a compound blur effect, so our text will be blurred depending on the contrast level. We'll also make some adjustments and experiments with parameters to get the best result we can. Now we can move to animating our text and distort it with a turbulent displace effect. Set the speed graphs. Get back to our main comp and duplicate the layer with text. We'll add some ghost-like effect to our bottom text layer. Now, let's create a constant evolution animation. To do this, press Alt, click on the evolution parameter, and write down the time 60 expression. Reduce the opacity to 30%. It's time to color our layers, duplicate the noise blur, and apply a tint effect to it. Enable the effect and apply a color overlay. We need to set our effect specifically to be applied to our bottom layers along with opacity. We also want to give our composition a little twinkling or flashing. So we'll create a new adjustment layer, add an exposure effect to it. And in the parameter, we'll press Alt and write down the following wiggle expression. During our text animation, we also want our letters to appear randomly and twinkle a bit during the in animation.
that's the result we got. Also, we want to share a little tip on how to make the same text animation in a couple of clicks by using our presets pro pack for After Effects. Hey, did you know motion designers spend 90% of their work time on animating keyframes? Things can get pretty exhausting when there's a tight deadline on the way. Stop wasting your time. There's a better way. It's easy to be a pro with our new tool, Presets Pro. Thousands of awesome text and animation presets are here to save you time and money. No keyframes, no special skills required. Even if you're an absolute beginner or an advanced user, you'll find this project incredibly useful. Select the layer you want to animate, choose the desired preset, add it in one click, and watch the magic happen. With your text layer selected, click on any preset to apply the animation. Easy as a click of a button. That's the result we got. If you enjoyed our tutorial, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Here, you can check our recent After Effects guides. See you in the next video.